Hey guys, Coaster Directed coming at you with my top 15 favorite roller coasters. Let's get started. Number 15 is Rougarou. This was my first floorless coaster, and it's so far my currently my only floorless coaster. It was actually pretty... It was actually... A, I thought it was going to be a lot better than I thought it than it actually was. However, I still did it. I did like it a lot. What I did find was that you had to push your body into the restraints so you didn't get as much head banging, especially into the second part, because it gets pretty rough for an old BNM. Fourteen is Raptor, another BNM at Cedar Point. I did a uh, coaster battle with this against Banshee. However, it lost completely. I still think it's a great ride. It's really fun. It's really fast. Number 13 is Wicked Twister, at, also at Cedar Point. You're going to notice a lot of Cedar Point and Kings Island rides on this, unfortunately. But anyways, this is a very fast roller coaster. It's not the fastest out there, but it's really fast. Uh, it's really tall. It's one of the tallest at Cedar Point. And it's really, really fun. It's pretty intense. It's pretty scary being all the way up there at the top in the back seat, which I did my first time. Number 12 is The Incredible Hulk at Islands of Adventure in Universal Studios, Orlando. This is a... this one I thought was one of my favorites. It's really good, honestly. I love the launch for it. The, uh... It's... it doesn't seem that, uh, fast. I mean, it seems very fast, but it's only about 40 miles per hour. But it's really... it gets you up to that top acceleration or top speed very quickly. And that 0G roll is very, very good. So on to number 11. Number 11 is Firehawk. This one may be a little bit odd to some people, but I absolutely adore this coaster. Some people don't like it as much. I really like the Flying Dutchmans. I like them better than uh, B&M Flyers, even though I have not been on Manta or uh, uh, Montu. Or not Montu, the other one at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Sorry, I forget which one. Anyways, I really like this coaster. The vertical loop is one of my favorite elements in it, and so is that uh, inline twist at the end. On to number 10. Number 10 is the Beast, a classic wooden coaster. This hugs the terrain. It's real. It feels really fast. It's really long. And that helix, that final he double helix is amazing. And number 9 is Magnum XL200, the first hyper coaster. This one's really fun. It's packed with so much airtime. I think it has the most airtime in the park, and you can definitely feel it, especially going on, getting on those little bumps at the end. They're a little bit jerky, but they're really fun. Honestly, really like this coaster. Now on to number eight, which is Gatekeeper at Cedar Point. The first wing coaster on this list. I think it's really good. However, it's a little bit dull unless you're sitting in the front seat. The front seat's definitely the best seat for it. Especially on the, uh, either side, really. Because you, you go through so slow, and it's really cool. Anyways, on to number seven, which is Thunderbird. The, on, this, the only other, uh, wing coaster on this list. I love the launch for this. The Emelman is really good. It's really fast. It... However, it's really short. That's the only thing I'll complain about it. It's really short. And going through that barn, through that 0G on one of the sides, I forget, is really good. Number six is the Voyage, also at Holiday World. This is a fantastic wooden coaster. I do like the other two, but they're just not high as high on my list. It's a really good, it's airtime packed. I really like that double down. I th yeah, double down in the second half of the ride. That's a really cool element. And it, you actually go pretty far underground in that part. But anyways, this is a great uh, hybrid coaster because it has steel supports and wooden track. It's an amazing ride. On to number five, which is Top Thrill Dragster, the second or yeah, second tallest roller coaster in the world, the third fastest. This is the launch on this takes your breath away. It's so good. I was honestly really, really nervous getting onto this. I wouldn't say I was scared, but I was pretty nervous getting onto this. And just the waiting for the, uh, waiting for the lights to go with all the, the sounds. It's an amazing theme. 
A lot of people say it's better than King Dakar. I will agree. It's an amazing ride. That acceleration is phenomenal. It's not a perfect ride. It's really a two-trick pony, but it does those two tricks really, really, really well. On to number four. Number four is Banshee at King's Island. Fantastic invert. My favorite invert, obviously. Very fast. Very smooth. It's a great terrain coaster for a... Invert. It's one of the best terrain. I think the only other one is uh, the one in Bush Gardens, Tampa, uh, Montu. And this one's just great. It has the amazing uh, vertical loop over the lift hill, which only Kumba and one other coaster has. Anyways, that uh, the dive loop is also one of my favorite elements. It looks really good from the midway, and I just love this coaster. My number three is Diamondback, one of the three new B&M hyper coasters in the U.S. and Canada. Very great looking coaster. It sticks out very prominently over the uh, over the park. It's a very good looking coaster. It's also extremely smooth, smoother than Banshee, and the, it has tons and tons of airtime. I uh, most people say that it's the best of the three new hyper coasters. It could probably be traded between this and Intimidator. Anyways, it's a very, very good ride. However, the uh, operators tend to stack it a lot now, which is unfortunate. Number two is Maverick at Cedar Point. This is an amazing ride. It's not that tall, but the drop, you're going uh, about that up that hill at about 30 miles per hour, maybe. And you're, I mean, since you're going a decent amount of speed, when you hit that 95-degree uh, angle, you, fl I mean, you fly out of your seats a little bit. And with the new restraints, it's really good because it's not like the foam and steel uh, restraints anymore. Very comfortable restraints. I love this ride. I love the heartline heartline rolls. My favorite element is the uh, the sorry, I can't think the overbanked uh, ejector things where it throws you out over the side really hard. Those are easily my favorite. It's really good. It's a really good ride. If you have the chance to go to Cedar Point, you have to go on this. Even if the wait's long, I'd say at least an hour wait is worth it. Number one, obviously, a lot of people have this on their list, Millennium Force. I know this is a, it's an overrated ride. However, I love this. It's very fast, very constant. You're always being hit with so much speed. Very smooth, very fast. You, it's just an amazing ride. You get through everything so fast, even though it's over 6,000 feet. And there's a good amount of airtime on it in most places. And especially those overbank curves are so smooth and fast. And just everything about this coaster is near perfect. However, yes, I probably will not rate it that once I get to Intimidator and Fury 325. But right now, this is my number one coaster. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Make sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And as always, keep coasting.